Today we're testing Shark Tank products that could change your life. We're gonna start with a Shark Tank product that got no deal. You've heard of peanut butter, maybe almond butter, but have you ever heard of granola butter? So oat house? House? Oat house? Went to the sharks asking for $375,000 with 5% equity. Lucky or unlucky for them, they got no deal. Alyssa? We're gonna see why this got no deal. So we have cookie dough, original, and we have vanilla. The cookie dough sounds the best to me. Yeah, separation is natural. Huge layer of oil here. What is this thing made of? Oats, maple syrup, olive, olive oil, oil, coconut, coconut oil, oil, other stuff in there. It smells very desserty. Yeah, like a cookie butter. Yeah, I'm not so sure about this. And also the layer of oil. That smells really weird. It's like really hard. It's got separation anxiety. It's very hard to scoop. I don't want all the oil in a spoonful. I know. Okay, we'll go for the cookie dough. <laughs> Here, I'll just let the oil drip. Cheers. <laughs> it's like sand. Mm-hmm. I don't like that one. The cookie dough one is the only one that looks semi-normal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just sandy. Better than the vanilla, but still. The texture is weird. Yeah. Now I can see why they did not get funding. <laughs> But they're not doing bad. They're making $3 million in annual sales and you can find them in really high-end grocery stores like Whole Foods and Erewhon that's selling for $14 a jar. Not worth it. I'm sorry, but I'm with the sharks here. A three out of 10. Yeah. So next up, we have the Rocket Book, where you're supposed to be able to send handwritten notes from this book to your phone. And what's really wild is that you can erase everything you write in the microwave and reuse it at least five times. They went to the sharks asking for a $400,000 loan with 10% equity. They came out of the tank with no deal, which is surprising because I feel like this is pretty innovative versus the one that actually got the highest highest funding, which you guys have to stay tuned and watch till the end to see. So in the package, which comes in a weird foil like this, it comes with a special pen, although online it says that you can use whatever. I guess it's an erasable pen. <laughs> then they have their own app where I could take a picture of it and then I just position it. Whoa. And then it just takes a picture by itself. So that's really easy. So far I like that. To erase this, fill up your mug with water, place the mug on top of the wave notebook and then microwave it until the logo turns from dark to light. Whoa. What is this thing made of? It smells weird. There's definitely a smell. I mean, what were we expecting? Microwaving paper. But the logo is gone. It basically steamed out the logo. Is my note still there? <gasps> what in the magic name of ghost is this? This. How did it do that? I think this is such a cool product. Like, what the heck? Okay, so I can still see the indentation from my pen. Maybe don't write so hard when you write in this. The ink is gone. I don't know why the sharks didn't invest. Nine out of 10. Next up, this is the sub safe, and you're supposed to be able to keep your subs from getting soggy. Now they went to the sharks asking for $50,000 and 13% equity. What he ended up with was double the amount at $100,000 and 25% equity offered by both Mark Cuban and Charles Barkley. Yeah, I was surprised too. Now I'm not really sure how this is gonna keep your sub from getting soggy because if there's tomatoes in there, it's bound to get soggy. But the idea Idea was born when he apparently got his subs all wet from being in the cooler with other icy drinks. But if it's supposed to keep it from not getting soggy, the idea is to put your sub with the wrapper. I can already tell it's soggy. So preventing that from happening is gonna be a miracle. See, it's already dripping on my pants. You can have either a six inch regular sub inside the container or a big monster's 12 inch. So I'm gonna let this sub sit inside and I'm gonna come back in about two hours to check if it's soggy. It's been a few hours. Let's see how our sub held up. Ooh. Soggy bottom. Soggy bread. Only way to really tell is to eat it. Ugh, biting into a soggy sub is the worst. I'll go for this side. 
Well, the good news is the only soggy part that I can see out of this whole sub was this bottom part where it was kind of laying down. So it does redistribute all of like the juices from the tomatoes, oil, the lettuce. So for the most part, it kept it not soggy. It does keep it less soggy than if you were to keep it flat in a paper bag, but it did not hold up to the no soggy sandwich. My sandwich also didn't get crushed either. So it's, it's a decent product, seven out of 10. This is a nightcap scrunchie that I've been seeing all over TikTok that really could potentially save your life. They went in to the sharks asking for $60,000 with 20% equity. What they ended up with was $60,000 with 25% equity by Lori. Let's say you're out and your drink is open. Someone could roofie your drink. You never know who's around you. <laughs> So you take it out and there's a second piece attached to the scrunchie in this hidden pocket and you just use it to cover up your drink and then stick a straw in the hole. And just like that, it saved your life. But what's great about it is that I'm always looking for a scrunchie to tie my hair up, especially on hot days. I love the thought behind this. It might be a little embarrassing to use at parties, but Better safe than sorry. I'm gonna give it nine out of 10. This is the hoodie pillow. It's supposed to be your travel companion and combine the typical traveler's pillow with a hoodie so you could rest easy. Now they went into the sharks to ask for $90,000 with 15% equity and they pretty much ended up with what they wanted, $90,000, except they gave up 20% equity to shark robber. So I actually have one of these travel pillows for just like long road trips airplane rides, but none of them ever had a hoodie. So it's combining two of our favorite things. I would say the pillow is very plush. Can you see through that? I feel like it's very comfortable. It's not too soft. It's just very plush. I'm not so sure about the hoodie because I feel like the hoodie should be long enough to go over my face like this, especially if I'm gonna be on a plane and I wanna sleep and not be bothered. I'm pulling on it so tightly that the pillow ends up going up around my neck in order to get the hoodie down this low. So there's no real compromise. If I wanna use the pillow, I gotta have the hoodie up. If I wanna have the hoodie, then the pillow goes up. So it's a little bit uncomfortable. If I were to design this, I would have made the hoodie a little longer and a little wider so we have more room to play with. They have the drawstring here, which I guess does that, but that's just so uncomfortable. No, it doesn't quite work. So I'm glad that they were able to make what they wanted, but the design could have been a lot better. A six out of 10. I'm a product designer now. This is a Safe Grabs microwave mat. It comes with these two circular silicone pieces and you're supposed to be able to put them in your microwave. Number one, to keep it tidy. And number two, keep your little fingers from getting burned. So Safe Grabs went to the sharks to ask for $75,000 with a 12% equity. What they ended up with was kind of pretty much what they asked for, plus some more equity of 25% to Lori. But people seem to really love this on Amazon. So let's see. So you're supposed to put the larger piece at the bottom. Hmm, I'm already confused about how to use this. But then you put whatever you're heating up on top of the mat. I usually like to keep my lids on, but this also doubles as a lid. Steamy. Steamy. Okay, this thing is pretty hot. Like it's, whoa, it's steaming hot. You're supposed to grab this ridge, except the handle's on this side. But maybe I'm supposed to take the two like this and grip it. This actually feels pretty good. So it basically works as a placemat, a trivet, a splash guard. What else can you do? They also say that it works as a jar opener and a funnel. I guess I just roll it up like this and it's a little bit thicker than I, huh. It does create a fairly tight seal. Honestly, I'm pretty surprised. The fact that you can use it for so many different things like this is actually pretty impressive. An eight out of 10. This is the little elf gift wrapping cutter. They went in with an ask of $150,000 with 15% equity. And what they ended up with was $150,000 but 20% equity. It's supposed to make your life easier by cutting your wrapping paper in one straight shot. So you slide the little elf over one end of the paper roll. You pull out the amount needed. So there's this little, so there's this little crevice right here with a blade. Pull paper through opening. So far, so good. I do have to hold on to this. And then to cut a straight line because 
the grip is not super close to the curve of the wrapping paper, it tends to want to just go all over the place and you're not getting a super great cut. What this reminds me of though is one of those plastic wrap cutter where you just slide it on through. That would have been easier. This is not exactly straight. I wonder if I stood it up, ripped my paper. It's just not going down very well. Okay, now it is. Do we have a straight line? Do we have a straight line? Honestly, I feel like my life would have been a lot easier had I just used scissors. Four out of 10. And now for the largest ask and funding of them all, Incredible Eats Edible Straws. They went into the sharks asking for $500,000 with 7% equity. And what they ended up with was $500,000 with 15% equity by Lori. That is a huge investment and I'm not sure how they're doing, but I have tried out their other products on the channel before with their edible spoon. And to be honest, it was actually not bad. But their straws come individually wrapped and they're supposed to solve the problem of not only plastic straw waste, but also ease your frustration of using yeah. paper straws. Cause you know how that goes. What flavor are these? Chocolate. Mm. So the wrapper is made of paper. It's kind of like shiny paper. Yeah. So you should be able to recycle them. They smell like biscuits, like a pocky stick. And to really test if this lasts soaking in milk, I'm gonna let it sit for five minutes. So what is this made of? Wheat, Wheat flour, flour, rice, rice flour, flour, artificial, artificial flavor. flavor. Oh. It's fake, but it's supposed to help save the planet. It's still intact. Oh, it's actually pretty hard still. <laughs> I don't really taste the chocolate. Me neither. I don't taste it. Mmm, tastes like a pocket stick. Seven out of 10. This one's already starting to shred at the bottom. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this version of our Shark Tank series. Go watch the other one. I'll see you guys next time.